I'm against it because basically you're saying that a badger has no value. Um, this cull is not science-based. In fact, Lord Krebs just did an interview in which he said this cull is actually crazy and it's unlikely to do any good for the farmers. So don't listen to me. <laughs> don't believe a rock star. All the scientists in the field are saying that this is not going to work. But the government is insisting on pressing ahead, pressured by the NFU, and I do not believe that the NFU now represent all the farmers. There's one word really, which is vaccination. Vaccination is the long-term cure. Vaccination is the only thing which can produce herd immunity. Culling is very likely to make the situation worse, and all the scientific research says that quite unequivocally. So vaccination, vaccinate the badgers, but vaccinate cows too. Now at the moment we're not allowed to do that, but that needs to be fixed. We have to be allowed to vaccinate cows. We vaccinate our children, for God's sake. Why wouldn't we vaccinate our cows? Don't tell me that vaccination doesn't work. It makes me angry. I wake up with it now and I feel like there's a kind of war going on. And it's a war which we must not lose because this is the, the thin end of the wedge. It won't stop with badgers that deer carry TB. So do various other wild animals, so do cats and dogs. The government going to kill everything? You know, you have to fix it within farming. Farming created this problem. I haven't seen any, any evidence to persuade me that any animals need culling, no. They use the word control, it's a euphemism. You know, these people live with killing. They talk about badger control. Badger control means killing badgers. And some of them have the audacity to suggest that it might be better for the badger population. Well, you wouldn't be killing babies if there was a lot of TB in, in babies at the moment. You would be trying to cure them. We should be trying to cure domestic animals and wild animals. It's not too much to ask. We now have a lot of support in the farming community from people who realize that vaccination is the only way forward. And uh, if it's the only long-term solution, it's the only solution we should be looking at right now. It's the only solution that a taxpayer should be paying money to, to further. And, you know, David Cameron could make a U-turn on this. It's, it's, it's no shame. You know, he's been badly advised. It's going to lead him down a cul-de-sac. And farmers are not going to benefit. That's the crucial thing.